Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 11th of February, 2019. One of my friends out of Michigan sent me a rather interesting video. It was published on February the 10th by Roy Potter. When I got it, it had 5,665 views. I suspect that it should receive a whole lot more. Title, Trump must aggressively protect and defend the first, second, and Fourth Amendment. Hmm. How long has he been in office? Huh? Has he done anything about the First, Second, and Fourth Amendment? <laughs> the title of my video that I'm making is Trump Won't Lift a Figure. He's a Democrat at heart. Now I want you to think about that. What do we know about President Trump. Well, we know that he was a Democrat most of his life. We know that Ivanka Trump was a Democrat, as was Eric Trump, as was Donald Trump Jr., as was, and he still very well might be, Jared Kushner. They were all staunch Democrats. They couldn't vote for President Trump in the primaries because they were, again, all staunch registered Democrats. What do you think happened to them? Did they get a new revelation that all of a sudden, because President Trump ran on the Republican ticket, they themselves have all converted to become a Republican? I don't buy it. I don't buy that Trump's a Republican. He has done nothing about the First Amendment. He's done little about the Second Amendment. And he's done squat about the Fourth Amendment. He's not going to change. I think that President Trump like all other presidents, were selected for the roles that they played. And I'm predicting, and I've already said this in a couple of other previous videos, that in 2020 there'll be a Democrat in the White House, and the Senate will be controlled by Democrats. And our gun rights? Well, they're going to go bye-bye. They can't do what they want to do to us as long as we have these. When these are gone, our freedoms, our liberties, will all be gone with them. Folks, President Trump complains about fake news when it affects him. He didn't complain about fake news when YouTube shut down my website, which had 18,300 videos viewed close to 17 million times from people all over the world. He didn't protect my First Amendment rights against PayPal and against GoFundMe when they shut down my accounts. I even went to my local congressman's office, Andy Biggs, spoke with his chief of staff, spent an hour explaining that PayPal and GoFundMe function as banks. They can't simply decide that they don't like my political views. You know what's come of that meeting? Nothing. Waste of time there's no one to go to. And if you believe that Donald Trump's going to do anything about the First, the Second, or the Fourth Amendment, you're delusional. God, I hope I'm wrong. But I don't think so. Roy Potter wants to believe. But he himself, from what he says, 
recognizes that Trump's done nothing to protect us from the First, the Second, and the Fourth Amendment. Some of you might not want to hear this. I don't care. I'll attach the link. You listen to it. It's 29 minutes and 18 seconds in duration. President Trump was chosen for the role that he's playing. You think not? Again, think what you like. I do. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Thanks for listening.